Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing some Lego shopping. Yeah, I know, it, it's adding up. That's the backlog in the city projects, but uh, there's a couple things that happened today. The first thing that happened was, well, I found a really good deal on our local classifieds, so we're going to go pick up that set. Now it's a set that we already have here in the Lego city, but it's something that we can use the parts from to create something that's really cool and will you know, serve as a good modular building in Lego City. So I'm excited about that. And also somebody else reached out to us and was like, hey, check out this rebrickable model. You should build it. And I was like, hey, that looks pretty killer. So we're going to be building that rebrickable model. More on that uh, later on in this video. Uh, so we're going to go pick up our Kijiji buy or our <laughs> local classifieds buy, Facebook buy, sell, whatever. Uh, we're going to go pick that up and then uh, we're going to do some shopping around at some different uh, Lego shopping destinations, probably some Walmarts, maybe even a Lego store, not too sure. Uh, there are uh, three sets total that we need to pick up along with that classified set. So whew, we're off to a good start. Can't wait to start the day and uh, let's go have some fun doing some Lego shopping. Woohoo! All right, so we got our 80 Canadian dollars ready to go for our first purchase. There it is right there. That's a good deal, hey? It's missing a couple minifigs, but a Birch Books modular building for 80 bucks. You get the bookstore and the townhouse. Like, we can do a alternate build of this if we wanted, and we could also just have this as a dual in the uh, city. Like, you could have two of these side by side. But of course, we're gonna do an alternate model from uh, rebrickable.com for sure. Okay, so now that we've picked up that set, we are at Walmart to see if there's anything at a rollback price. So hopefully this guy can hook it up. Also, like I said earlier, there's a few things that we need to get for a really cool project. All right, the Lego aisle is right over there, but this has my attention. Look at this. I'm a huge fan of Halo, and the Warthog is just such a cool vehicle. This is a nice looking action figure, like, vehicle, you know, and then you also have, like, the large Spartans up here. It's almost like Black Series. Whoa, those look really good. I know Mega has the uh, license on Halo, but and well, Lego would never, never make Halo stuff. It's just probably too violent. I don't know, but they've do, done like Overwatch and stuff like that. But I would love to have some legit Halo, you know, Lego sets. I actually have a few Mega sets that I have to build. Probably should get on that. I got like the energy sword and stuff like that. But of course, we've got our Lego aisle over here. Some of the city stuff up top there. Imperial Armored Marauder. Some Light Years stuff. Mario. There's the uh, 90 Years of Play classic set. I never really understood it. I do like the, the box art. I think that's pretty cool. I just like the vintage look of it. I got some three-in-one stuff. Stunts up top there. Some employee making a racket in the background, hey? Oh, there's the uh, floating tub toys that we'll get eventually for the twins. Those little rascals are gonna be here in like a month, eh? So I'm almost saying, oh, it's crazy that you can say it's a month away now. Got some friend stuff down here. Oh, look, we got a good deal. Look, this one was $100, but now it's on for $99. You save a dollar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding though. That one was actually 30% off because its original retail price here in Canada was 140 So I think it's 30% off. It's actually a pretty good deal, but still only 503 pieces. But you get the, the elephant, the lions. It's a good uh, set just for like all the animals. But you can order some of these animals on the bricks and pieces. That's on the uh, LEGO website. All the speed champions and stuff right here. Some good looking ones. Not really any like retired ones. There's a good one back there, the Corvette. And then uh, some Harry Potter stuff. And uh, some more Lightyear products. And more friends up top. Uh, as we continue down the aisle there, there's all the current Jurassic World stuff. And then here we've got like Seinfeld, the Batmobile, that one there. I still want to get a few of these. I hope to find them on sale one day. I think I want to put some of those away. I don't know. Pretty neat. Some of these sour sets come with good minifigs. Like this one, Dula Manor with uh, Ahsoka and also Darth Maul. Same with this one, I like the troopers that you get, specifically the artillery or mortar trooper. And the armored assault tank. 
all the Ninjago stuff. Marvel on the bottom here. I would like to build a big Avengers compound, but I don't know. I've seen this on sale on Amazon.com forever. I still want to get this eventually. And then another one of these, I have one in my backlog, and build the Iron Man on Rebrickable. I think it's done by Bendel. I can't remember who it's done by, but it looks really cool. Bendel's Lego or something like that. Rapunzel's Tower and Disney Frozen's, or uh, Ariel's Underwater Palace. And there's the Frozen stuff that I was referring to, but yeah. Nothing really crazy here, nothing really on sale. There's some Dots products down here that are on sale. But yeah, nothing crazy. Other than that Lego City set with all the animals. And then, uh, like I was saying, they've got some Mega over here for Halo. Yeah, War Dog. I hate this vehicle. It's my least favorite one. Alright, so I guess they actually don't have the products that we're looking for. Like I said, I'm looking to get three sets for a new project in the LEGO room. So we're going to have to go to the LEGO store. So that's what we'll do next. Ooh, I got excited for a second. It says from $25, but there's actually another little selection here. I know this set's more than $25. I know that set's more than $25. That's sort of misleading because none of the stuff is priced. So it's from $25, but... They've got like $100, I think this is like a $80, I can't even remember, it was a pretty expensive set. So from $25, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe that dude with the smiley face and the uh, cool shades is going to give us a deal on that? Should I scan that? I, I doubt it though. It's actually like looking pretty empty here. I'm surprised this stuff's not on sale because if you all know, there's so much stuff coming out uh, August 1st. So eventually you're going to have to start clearing out some of this stuff here to make room for all of that new August product. So, you know, I got to keep coming back here, checking once in a while because eventually some of this stuff is going to be going in order to make room for some of the new products coming out on august 1st oh my gosh i was just walking by the electronics aisle and check it out i've never seen it in stock before they have an xbox series x in stock for 600 canadian dollars i do play my xbox quite a bit and it's an original xbox one upgrade would just be phenomenal oh my gosh what would you do? I just upgraded my golf clubs for the first time in my life. I've been using hand-me-downs my entire golfing career, but I just upgraded them three days ago. So I really don't think I can afford this expense right now, but my gosh, do I ever want one of those? I've never seen it in stock before. That's wild. I want that so bad. I'm gonna have to go talk to the wife. That is insane. Maybe if I go talk to the wife, go find her because she's doing grocery shopping and come back, it'll be gone. Save me the grief. I so badly want to buy that. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm leaving it here. It's not coming with me. I've been looking for one forever, but I recently just bought all new golf clubs. So I can't do it. They'll be here again sometime. First time ever seeing it here though. It's crazy. You can see it anywhere. <sighs> this is tough. I'm walking away and we're going to the Lego store. <laughs> I might be able to walk away from that, but I don't think I can walk away from this guy. Holy smokes, are this dinosaur? <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff he's up here. Iron Man, Minion, Sonic, there's Batman. <laughs> That's so cool. I can't wait to have kids, because they're for sure going to have this stuff. One month away, folks. One month away. Oh. That's some cool blinds. Can we get that for the nursery, should I say? No. What about those ones? No, it's not going to happen. She's not going to let that pass. All right. Well, look at that. That's a towel. It's got a shark on it. 20 bucks? All right, to the Lego store. <laughs> it's hard to get out of here sometimes. All right, we got to the uh, West Edmonton Mall Lego store, and look at that. They got the loop coaster on display in the front window now. Nice. I wonder if there's any promos. I don't even know. Looks like you get a free gift when you spend $50 on Ninjago, and they still have my first duck promo in stock as well. Also in the front window, they've added the Jazz Quartet as well. And check it out. Look what they got in stock. They got the uh, Professor of Hogwarts Brickheads. I'm going to wait to get those because I heard there's a pretty cool promo coming out 
uh, for all this Harry Potter stuff in the near future. So we're back from our shopping adventure. Far too many of those happening recently, hey? No, 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 not enough, not enough. <laughs> but we seem to be acquiring quite a bit of Lego, but could I really turn down this modular building for $80? This thing retails for 200 Canadian dollars. It's missing a couple figures, but it's gonna be a great set to add another modular building to the Lego city. Also, what is this stuff here? Well, we actually went back to that shipping store and we picked up our bag sealer. So this bag sealer is gonna be handy dandy for reusing Lego bags and for sealing the bags that we buy that don't have Ziplocs for shipping out uh, all of our BrickLink orders, shipping out minifigures on our whatnot auctions and stuff like that. So we just wanna do it right and make sure everything is sealed perfectly. Also, we bought a scale so we can now weigh our packages because of course we make all our shipping labels at home to save time at the post office. But what was I on the hunt for at uh, the Lego store? Well, I was on the hunt for something to do with our medieval scene. So we've actually paired up with a rebrickable designer and his username is made with bricks and bricks has an X. So we've paired up with him because he made a really cool alternate model of the medieval castle set. And it's actually known as the Black Falcon Knights Castle. So it looks really good. It's gonna pair up with the other alternate model that we have. And obviously it's gonna look fantastic in the medieval scene, which we're gonna talk about in this video as well. And in order to build that alternate model, you need one, two, three of the giant, well, not giant, but pretty fair size, 1,426 uh, pieces in the medieval castle three in one set. So you need three of those in order to build the Black Falcon Knight's castle. And I cannot wait to build that. So thank you so much Made With Bricks for reaching out to us. And we cannot wait to build your awesome looking castle there and integrate it into our medieval scene. Let's talk about that area a little bit there. Before we get started with talking about the medieval scene, I just want to point out that I cannot do anything with this product at this time on the channel as it does have a review embargo date. So I'm unable to do anything with this awesome set at this particular time. So it's gonna go down here. This is all gonna be medieval. It's gonna be massive. Uh, we have two things that we could do and I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I'm thinking about the width. So base plates are roughly, whatever, 10.1 inches. So we would be able to fit four base plates across between the legs if we went to the outside of the legs, we would be able to fit five base plates across. But then we'd have to like notch the legs out. It might look a little bit weird if we had like, you know, the legs impeding on the scene everywhere we went. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I think we're gonna go inside the legs 40 inches and it's gonna span from here all the way to the end. Now, with the old medieval scene, I was talking about having, you know, two different castles, that one, and there's the other alternate model there and having a battle in the middle. but. Now I've decided that we're going to be creating a cluster of medieval type buildings. Because recently we went to Brickworld Chicago and we saw a whole bunch of setups with a setup like that. And also recently we got this giant castle right here. So we're getting more and more castles. And we also have the uh, medieval blacksmith that you saw down there as well. So we're getting more and more of these buildings. So I think we're gonna have a cluster of buildings down here. There's also a jousting set that we have as well. So, I'm really excited to build the alternate model of the three-in-one castle, another one that is, and have it down here beside all of these other ca castles and sort of cluster this area with really cool medieval scenes. Also, one other thing that we have to do down here is get some white. But I don't know if I'm gonna build it within the legs or sort of notch it around the legs and have it come out further. I, if it did come out further, you'd be able to see it better, but it might impede on like, you know, us walking down here, it's a little bit tight, so it might come out a little bit too far and might, you know, bump into things and stuff like that. And if you really wanted to see everything, you're gonna bend down here and see everything with the nice lights and everything on the underside of the table. So we got lots to think about in regards to the medieval scene. So yeah, really great day, scored a good deal on that. Uh, thank you so much, Made With Bricks. Can't wait to build your uh, medieval castle, get working on that. Uh, for sure, within the next, like within the month of July, I should say, we are gonna get that area going there. So I am gonna go by the wood and we are going to install the tables underneath there and start building that stuff because we're gonna have you know, a whole bunch of castles. We will be building this one live, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And um, check out our WhatNot page too because uh, we're gonna be selling a whole bunch of cool minifigures and it's just a lot of fun to engage with everybody on there and 
Some minifigs go for a really good price too, and they're all sealed in their own little poly bags using this thing here. So, and it's a good way to reuse uh, all those Lego bags that we have as well. So thank you everybody for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And farewell, hope you enjoyed.